Oh, cat potion. Hey, la ca la cage fu. So, if I remember correctly, the point of this story quest is going to be to rile Rageous up. What if we just called Rageous up? What if we just riled Rageous up? Um, to get like, I don't know if it's blood. Wow. Okay. So I guess I'm <laughs> running all the way over there. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to this question mark. Yeah. Last stream's trip was something, huh? John might kill people in a bar with an effing pencil. Yes! Come on. So pretty. Look at all the flowers. Show me what you got. So how how far am I through like the blood and wine story quest? Like halfway? I feel like I've done a lot of the story. I'm not even fucking with you guys. I feel like I have. Oh! Uh, 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 okay, when I saw a question mark, I thought it was gonna be... Uh, Raiders. Uh, not this. Uh, amazing oh easy peasy what the fuck I did the turning and stuff. I can't believe I'm 20% through. It's just not true. Just like when I thought the game was going to end uh, with the battle at Care Morin. I was very confused when it kept going. The turning was a side quest? No, it wasn't. <laughs> You're lying. You're fucking with me. Didn't I start this like near the beginning of the year? So you don't even have. You don't even have a question mark for me. What is wrong with you? Roach. You were so cute in that side quest. Wow, I can't believe that was a side quest. What in the world? <laughs> I am the Duke of the Dog's Diddle. Once it gets going, it goes fast. Okay. I might also go to bed. I might go to bed. Why can't you? You can't go here? This is a path. Honey, it's a path. Roach. It's Slow a, now. It's a bridge. Oh my Faster. god, are you kidding me? Shin always wants a song with his name. He always wants a song with his name. He doesn't care what anyone says. He wants the songs with his name and only his name. Oh god. Hi, Christian. 
Mirrors. Why is it, or is it just frames? Oh, I have to kill the monster nest. Oh. Delicious. Oh, I will tell a dad joke too. Wait, where's the nest? Oh, you know, I bet it's on top. How do I get up there? got their nest here at least mumsy supports me and lent me her mirror along with the two others i bought with my savings i will be able to test whether the device i've invented will indeed work Or even worse, bring in a flock of harpies, but he's always got a problem with everything. Oh. Well, you tried. Ow. Sorry. Sorry, Gerald. Okay, Shen, I'll give you your dad joke in just a second. So I'm going to go to bed because I haven't, I haven't checked on Corvo Bianco in a while. Hey, Petunia. Oh, ad time too, while I do the dad joke. Dad jokes. Hi, Petunia. How'd you even get in here? You're a good girl. Look at that fluffy bud. Red adds a spring to your step. Wine adorns your head with thorns. I swapped the M and N keys on all the keyboards in the office. Yes, I'm an I'm an absolute nomster. Wait, that only works if it's fucking typed. I feel like that's a very dad joke because of course I would say that out loud when it makes no sense. It only makes sense if it's tight. I amaze myself sometimes. Wait, I don't think I've talked to her yet. I don't think I've talked to what's her face. Tuna, we love you. What's 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 up? What's up, girl? Oh, she wants to play. You want to play with your mama? We played earlier today. We were playing with the ball. Yeah, we can play later. Maybe we could go to the dog park later. But right now I got to work. I got to play my game. Marlene, Madeline, <laughs> Megan. Who knows? Thanks. Got to get back to my business now. See you soon. <gasps> Sham, hi. Welcome. Welcome to the live version of me. I don't know where she is, though. Up in rack. Oh, I don't have anything on here. Yeah, because I upgraded. OK. OK. Think. Hang painting. Elven shield. I need a better monitor, I think. Oh, hi. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes. Yes, of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunger? 
Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. <laughs> you could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen, eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Oh, hey. Nothing be nice to be me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. The house could use <laughs> a woman's me. touch. I've one other thing I'd like to Thanks. tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles Ooh. are no use to me now. Baubles? But to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several jewels? barrels. You must give Jewelry? each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home? As I brewed as a white. <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking. Even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised Damn, the dishes myself. She's serious. They only prepared them. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, Aww. to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes. But ever at night, when all were oh, asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough. Wow, just look say at that word. lighting. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. Oh, so sweet. See you later. Take care, Witcher, and remember. You always have warm food awaiting your return. That's so sweet. The Hunger Game. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Renata Lips and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. teacher. Oh my god, am I Australian? Z Rams, thank you for the prime sub. Three months. Thank you, thank you. I love that painting. Hey, Caleb, she's scratching. Yeah, fist, fist, um, sorry, fist, sorry, fist trophy. Okay, I can't just say fist with no context. There she is, back with her board games. You know? Hey, you know? You know? Ice? 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's her way of saying I need attention or I need something. She probably should go outside again. Yeah, I'm gonna take her out. Okay. She does what she has to do to communicate. Love you, bye. bye. 
she could ring the bells, which she does do sometimes. We have bells on our door. Z and she will ring them to say she wants to go outside or she could ruin perfectly good board game boxes. <laughs> Either are. <laughs> Either are. Hey, Grandma. Welcome. How you doing? Oh, my God. Maybe. Maybe one day. I'm going to stash some of this stuff. It's just healing. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, Boj. Oh, Boj. <laughs> Took the opportunity. <laughs> Maybe I'll add you for sure. But not right now, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grimmer. They're like, let me in! Let me in! Uh, should we go pink? I think I want to go pink. I know I loved the purple moment, but I think I want to go pink. Wait, I'm going to sleep. Hey, blacksmith. Hi, happy chef. F your bookcase. I'm going to chew it. Exactly, exactly. They have interesting ways of telling us what they need. But it, I mean, it definitely gets my attention because she just scratches and scratches and scratches. Okay, let's go out in the light. Pink time. that steel of yours okay so we have pink i think it'll look good with brown pants that's beautiful let's do this wait Okay, brown pants, and then let's do uh no, have I read? No, this is orange. Boys, wait! You can die, Geralt's armor? <laughs> yes. I don't know what I want to make. I mean, purple's cute. With the pink. I would love to make it red. I really want some... Red armor. I can also just make it pink. I have one more pink. I might just go super matching. For now. Oh my god. Rageous is gonna love that. Rageous is cute. Okay. Are we dying stream? We're not actually gonna do the story. Aha. Ah, ha. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't freak out. Thank you, Sham. Thank you. Hi, Malice. Yeah, I really... I think the pink looks great with... Oh, my God. On the catwalk. On the catwalk. Yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. Poo, 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 poo. Do, 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 do. Is it too pink? <laughs> Here we go. 
Should I make them gray boots? Should I make them gray boots or keep them pink? Wait, what if I take the dye off? What color are the boots? Oh! Let's do that. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, wow. Sir, you are looking romantic. Like, this is his Valentine's Day outfit, you know? Pooey, yeah. Oh, I was like, Pooey, what are you talking about? I like this. I don't want to be, I don't like too matching. I think this is just enough color pop. Regis. Ah, there you are. Regis. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? Tesha Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment, a torture chamber. Oh. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagma developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Oh. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshem Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus, I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Wait, we're doing that? I thought we weren't doing that. And if we were going to do it, I thought it was going to be chill. Like, we we're just going to rile you up a little bit. Not put you in a torture chamber. I don't want to do this quest. I'd rather not do it. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham would not. No, thank you. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. I love the Manticore armor because it's very similar to Rages's. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the Raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. All for your friend. Oh my gosh, all for Detlaf, right? This is all As for Detlaf. Stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. You must love him. My head's spinning already and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. Wait, 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 and wait, you're wait. You're starting to scare me. <laughs> I'm reading, my book is about like vampire smut. So <laughs> my, my mind is going crazy. <laughs> um, I know that Rages would do the same for Geralt though. That's a thing. I think he just loves his people in a good way. Blood and Ash. From Blood and Ash. The sequel. We have arrived. Don't ask questions. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies Monsters underground. Monsters do it for me. Are you sure? Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. Faculties. I really prefer not to hurt you. Why? Guys, I should not have done this quest before Val recommended from Blood and Ash for me. And now YouTube's going to be like, what is it with women wanting men to be gay? It's not that. It's just that I'm reading a series right now where the drinking of blood is like by choice means you love that person. 
and if they're like if they consent to it's like a very intimate beautiful thing everyone blame val she she was the one who recommended the books you lead what that 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 <laughs> but like Imagine Rage is saying this to you, though, okay? I don't ship them, by the way. But imagine Rage is saying that to you, like, I might. Scurvers must not be getting be able close to the handle myself ground. and you smell Correct. tasty. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. It's his voice. His voice does it for me, y'all. Yes, Rages. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout, fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. Oh, I didn't know that. I also feel like Rageous as a character really w would resonate with people who are on like asexual spectrum demisexual because he demisexuality specifically it because he be loves so. his people and he During has the conjunction to the gate from them. our run to this one opened upon this land unknown. Oh, <laughs> this was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care. This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior over the many years he spent breeding them. Only suspect that it may be. It's a thorough survey of the topic. Breeding them? Breeding them. Um, Janess, we're talking about how it's sexy that Rages is saying that Geralt smells tasty. Because I'm reading from Blood and Ash, and now everyone's mad at me except the girls that get it. And, um,. Happy chef. Happy chef. <laughs> What's demisexual? It's if you require a close connection and knowing um, the person to feel sexual attraction. Um, sorry, I got red armor dye. Oh, here. And also, I want to see this. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm the fuck down. Okay? Just calm down. But then what if I make my boots? I want them. I like it. It's very vampire-y. So I use a lot of Ard. So we're going to do three Ard. And then we're going to do... Two Quinn. The rest of the set. Oh, okay. So I just fucked that up for no reason. Okay, thank you. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. A waste yes. of the die. Great many beings have breathed their last here. But I think that the red armor die would. It's gonna look good with the pink because I want pink and red 
Hi, Chalester. Hi, Scary. Glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of... Uh, well, what you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us of where we came from. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishem. My tribe and Deadlands. Tribe. We both remained in this part of the world. Many of us come to believe that there are a much more effective way of obtaining good quality human blood than hunting individuals is their systematic controlled husbandry. Apart from the obvious advantages, such as being able to control what the flock eats and the ability to crossbreed specific individuals to obtain offspring with the best hemoglobin, another clear advantage to breeding human flocks is that domesticated humans held in confinement as opposed to those in their natural habitat, i.e. villages and towns, become less aggressive and therefore less troublesome. I'm horrified, but this is literally what we do to other species. So I don't even feel like I have a right to be like, oh, how dare you? Because we do this bad. We we do GMOs. We keep um, like the, the fact that it says free range humans. We have free range eggs. We have not free range eggs. <sighs> When it comes to farming humans, there are various schools of which two seem to have gained the widest acceptance in recent times, namely battery cage and free range husbandry. This thesis describes in detail the advantages and disadvantages, as well as the methods of carrying out each type of breeding. As an introduction, it is worth mentioning the basic differences between both types. Battery cage human husbandry, described very accurately and in detail in the book Human Husbandry, is the placing of several male and female individuals in a closed, restricted space with permanent access to air, food, and water. This form of breeding differs from free range in that the flock is not permitted to leave the breeding area and is held captive the entirety of their lives. Y'all, is this not what we do with, like, dog breeding and cat breeding free range on the other hand involves leaving the flock in its natural habitat or creating a habitat that simulates it closely i.e creating villages more on which can be found in that in the chapter human villages establishing and growing a herd and then making the herd psychologically or physically dependent on its owner the most effective method for making a human individual dependent is guaranteeing its safety and permanent access to high quality feed. It is worth adding that a human trust that trusts its owner does not feel fear and does not defend itself when having its blood drunk, which limits the production of noradrenaline and cortisol, which have a negative impact on the taste of blood. That's oh my gosh. And like nutritionists say that about like chickens and cows and stuff that we eat and they'll use that as an argument for like this is better because it's not the chicken wasn't stressed and to like read it it's just so masterfully done because to read it about humans it's blowing my mind right now um Furthermore, it may happen that a domesticated free-range human may feel a certain pleasure when its owner drinks its blood. That's what I'm saying. Most likely associated with sexual tension. Who? Who game? You're not calling me out. Which causes an intensification in the blood flavor. Oh my god. Um. Oh. Most important aspect of raising human livestock is to provide the herd with conditions that, on one hand, guarantee their survival, but on the other hand, do not extend too far beyond the minimum needed for that survival. Y'all, I think the game was calling out all the girls who read Vampire Smut. It should be borne in mind that people are creatures bestowed with great intelligence or rather cunning and instincts that allow them to gain as much as possible from their environment. In terms of husbandry, this means humans will always try to obtain more than we give them. It is recommended, therefore, to provide each individual 
with a place to sleep, a meal twice a day, and permanent ask access to water. These conditions, which might seem overly luxurious to some, ensure the optimal production of high quality hemoglobin, more details on diet in later chapters, also essential is access to air, <laughs> without which humans die within minutes. There's no need to be concerned about the ability for human livestock to multiply in the conditions described above. If they are ensured a minimal existence and male and females are mixed, they will copulate irrespective of whether they are in captivity or not. It is worth mentioning here that there is a school of thought that suggests treating human livestock with greater freedom and care, including providing them with better quality fodder and a certain degree of freedom. This allegedly ensures a greater amount of favorable elements in the blood and makes it tastier. However, it is worth mentioning that this method of husbandry is more difficult and requires emotional bonding techniques. <laughs> oh. I am he who serves the tribe exalted above men. I renounce human weakness uplifted above men. I become keeper of my flock filled with strength. I turn my sword against the enemies of the tribe. I am master and slave. I'm executor of the will of the tribe. I accept the sword. So is this, am I wearing Okay, no, I'm not wearing his tribe, Erasham. I'm wearing Tesham. Yeah. So I'm wearing this person's. Ugh. It shows just how amazing um, Rageous is even more. He didn't, he never really <laughs> went that deep into like what lots of vampires do in the history so i think it's pretty amazing that he's basically like a vegan or vegetarian this game might turn me vegetarian with the way that they're freaking describing this i don't know it's just making me think different seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library indeed though i personally did not lay a hand to it I feel like also humans have just gotten so lucky in this oh, world. Disgraceful. Excruciating this, this particular page from history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. This world was kind of made for monsters and elves and vampires. Is this place? Like, I'm a run. They ventured beyond the sea. I don't care. I love, I love fake meat. I love like Im the impossible Whopper is better to me than a regular Whopper. Um, Who's this it's, this just, it's I'm a so they ventured beyond the sea. hard to get protein without animal meat. And also like animal meat is, it's good for our bodies. I think it's more just, I would never also never pressure anyone to be vegan or vegetarian. It's more about just being conscious of where you're getting your food from, not even just meat, and how it's sourced, and if it's sourced What's sustainably. This symbol it's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. I think that's the best we can do. Like the saying that's just like, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. One, which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe. And sorry, 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 sorry. We both remained in this part of the world. Yeah, and there's, yeah, I'm just not judging people for what they do. All we can ask ourselves is just to be aware and be kind to each other. What's this symbol Snake. mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Sorry. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. So the witchers were created yeah, it makes their friendship even... Sorry, I'm very talkative today. But it makes Rages' and Geralt's friendship even more meaningful that humans hired witchers to kill vampires. And there's not a good history there. It's cute. Oh! Transcript of a conversation between Master Ezehile Hildegard... And a human being. Each, who are you? My name is Alex Biscont. Why is your all your skin trembling? I I'm scared, sir. 
you're scared? I don't understand. You don't have, you don't know what fear is, sir. No, I've mastered your language, yet some concepts are beyond me. What is fear? It's a feeling that destroys every other feeling. It controls your head and your heart. What do you mean? I thought it was a kind of pain. I've carried out tests in my laboratory on people, and I discovered that a mother subject to, to appropriate stimuli is able to forget about her child and think only about how to avoid pain. So fear would be similar to pain? No, pain rules the body, but fear is born in the heart. Oh, yes. What you say is very interesting. I think I will have to examine your heart in the laboratory. What do you mean examine? I mean examine. Take it out and subject, subject, subject it to proper examination. But sir, that would kill me. Yes, your mortality is a great inconvenience, but was not me who created your species. And I'm not responsible for its excessive frailty. This conversation was carried out in human language and such it was written down. <sighs> Humans have done this to each other too. Oh God, I found a piece of parchment that fell from the pocket of one of the monsters. I also have a lump of coal. I would write this in my own blood, but I have hardly any left. I'm cold. Every third day they come and open my veins. Trigger warning, general trigger warning. You guys don't have to stick around if this is affecting you. Obviously take care of yourselves. I can't go on much longer. From the next cage, I hear the howls of terrified people. If I had the strength, I would smash my head against the bars. I hope it won't go on much longer. Aloy, Alois from the cage next to me died yesterday. They drank him to death. This must have irritated them because I heard them arguing in their strange language. They brought new people this morning. You could say that a supply of fresh blood arrived. They have no idea what they are in for. My only comfort is that I know already that, and I won't have to live through the terror that I felt the first time they came for me. I had no idea what they wanted until they pulled out their shiny instruments. I have never seen such beautiful metal. My blood glistened a purple, silvery color in those instruments. Wow. So I didn't even know about the tribes, the vampire tribes. Charming place, but what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormenting with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Oh my god. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Ah. Oh. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. It's amazing well, that he feels the guilt Fine. on behalf of his people. I prepared people, the though. bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Yeah, exactly, Janess. And a lot of people can't even take responsibility 
deeper how <laughs> their ancestors affected the world and how it still affected the world. It's not completely taking blame, but it is just recognizing like, I wish I could go back in time and change it. And like, I, there's so much I have to unlearn and stuff, but sadly it's kind of a rare thing. So um, it's, it's awesome that we can see it in the form of like vampires and humans and it just shows how amazing Rageous is and how we can learn from him. Good night, Viking. Have a great rest. Oh, I think I have to... No. Three done, one left. Think this'll work? I certainly hope so. The stage is so thick, I'm wagering carries clear to Novigrad. Tell Rageous when you're ready to fight. Bait okay. set, but now. Enter the oh, cage. really, Bamba? You must chain I think me I missed inside. That. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. They still do this stuff? I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. Uh, we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. No, this is sad. Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. He's getting cranky. Safe word. You know, <laughs> something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Aww. Please. Oh. Oh. Those things explode, don't they? You will learn more. Okay, great. I guess that makes sense though, logically. I just didn't even make that connection that the ancestors would be alive still. <laughs> the vampire ancestors would be alive. Burden! <laughs> Pineapple, Geralt's prom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead. <laughs> What are most of these monsters going to be? Probably necrophages. Sure. Um, we have swallow. Bait set. What now? Maybe we need on. a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. Pineapple! Oh, there's a skirver. And what did you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Calm you down. Somehow. Ah! Okay, again? You won't be able to. You must force through the. Mm -hmm. Just smell the blood. He's very thirsty. He needs a. He needs a coco cola. Oh. Give him a, a Coca Cola. Maybe a Gatorade. Overcome. Good. 
Sounds like I can hear more coming. Yeah, that's what I would think here. Meditating? Not Geralt, just meditating. Get you out of here. <laughs> I mean... The concoction. it in this state tell me how i'll help you oh because that's my boy that's my pal that's my rotten soldier that's my swiss cheese they Any love better? each other far from ideal and some time must pass before i fully recover oh but yes a bit better thank you Reminds me of when Geralt drinks too many potions, honestly. Like, I feel like we're all capable of monstrosity and we're, we have all turned into that at some point. Not to be all philosophical and stuff, but still relatable. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. <sighs> we need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture, what would you have done? Found Deadlaw some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. 
Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Megan, touch your top lip to your bottom lip. Now's not the time. Don't bring this up. Remember when Triss was like, I need to sacrifice myself. I need to do this for Siri. You can take off my fingernails. Please, Carol, let them take off my fingernails. And then there's Rages, who like is going through the worst kind of pain. <laughs> Who's Triss? Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation. I swear Rages and Yen will Relax. be the best of friends. Add some experience brewing potions. Because Yen was completely tortured Very like well. that for Siri too. In that case, let's begin. For so long. By Phil Vilgeforts. And like legitimately tortured, so. Yes, months. Wouldn't reveal where Siri was, wouldn't help them. Anything for Siri. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. Aww. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Damn. Oh, that left kind of sexy, realize though. He was your friend, Count. Wait, wait, wait. That laugh is kind of sexy. Oh, handsome man. I didn't realize. Oh, that's precious. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? I have a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Uh oh. Forgive me. <gasps> what? Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. 
I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaff had made friends with him. Still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the but what's murder. What's the latter? Who? What? Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. Oh my God. See anything else? Oh, I feel like something. He had to do it for what reason? Who is he working for? Who is he working with? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlaf. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? This is your opportunity to remember that every little kind thing you do for someone can imprint on their brains in the best way and that you should stand up for people if they're being bullied or if they're being disrespected that's so precious there was something showed up twice in the vision a boot black stand dead love first met delacroix there Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Dedlaff. Hmm. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back Do as you soon need as I anything? anything? You want me to tuck you in? Do you need some orange juice blood? Do you need some red Gatorade? Oh, buddy. Not now, Geralt. I could not move a step without your assistance. I hope you have a great sleep. Y'all, I have a question, and it's a pineapple question. Can I look at Detlaf's character entry, or will it spoil it? He needs some milk. Yeah, blood orange juice. Do you need a fruit punch? It's not blood, but it looks like it, kind of. I can. Stabbed to death by a jealous lover. Ay ay ay. Okay. I have six points. Um, I can't unlock anything else. I have a question. And that question is, firstly, how do I get another, how do I unlock these spots? Pineapple. This is all pineapple. Um, no, people were like, don't look, don't look at something because there was a spoiler. So that's why I ask. Oh, number of researched mutations necessary. To researched mutation? This? Oh, so I need to get more. Okay, well, I'm going to go down this way. If I can. I don't know if I can make these yet. It was blue and red. red. 
those are rare. The green one is only two points. You should get it. Is that euphoria? And that will count? It's not active though. It's not active. <gasps> yes. Okay. It doesn't need to be active. Oh. And you know, the problem is I really want more in the blue. I would like to get Quen, like Discharge. Oh, everyone loves Euphoria, huh, Owl? In this chat, at least. So I don't... I don't know what to do. I need six more points in here. Thank you, Declan. Which one should I get? Puppet. Let's actually do... I like fire stream. Before it feels like cheating. I do like fire stream. Sometimes. Okay. Okay, y'all. Do we continue with main story? Is that something you would like? Yes. Well, I'm going to go sell. Oh, I see. It breaks. Okay. I really love my frozen thing, though. Like, I love that Ard sparkles. I can't feel my legs. It's just cute and it's not, it doesn't make me feel overpowered. It just makes me feel like Elsa. Into the unknown. I must have drunk a crazy potion. I want to keep going with the main story. That was so good. That was such a good quest. You need new britches? You need the new britches. Mm, what have you got there? Oh yeah, sword. Da 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 da. Hi, Tachi. a silver sword but why the fuck would they they have a silver sword <laughs> wait no it says five out of six where's the silver sword pineapple no oh it's the mask <laughs> okay Or just like have it on me
I also don't see it anywhere. We don't have to, okay. There's no buff for the six out of six. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, sorry. I like this armor. Yay, gear, what did you get? No one gives a hoot about this poor thing. Oh my god, it's chunky armor. <laughs> Wait, can I touch the balls? Oh. Where's the balls statue? Zoom. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Matilda and Liam have become the new owners of the Belgard Vineyard. Leading the cons to the consolida consolidation of the lands of Vermentino, like Coronata, and Belcard. That's such a cute detail. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. Passing glass, fast. Someone told me I could buy a picture of Siri somewhere. Master armor. Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Found his way to the Bortello, no doubt. The most fun you can have with your clothes. She's just vibing. Caught you, you little oh. fart. <laughs> you little fart. So, how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. Oh. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. <gasps> Come here. No, you don't. Leave him alone. It's called gentle parenting. Just who the spit are you? His father. If you won't touch him, I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I oh. knew his father. A grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. I don't like you guys. Do anything rash? I take you 
got it. They're so fucking aggressive. I'm fat. I love beating people up. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast <laughs> on the Duchess's orders. Hell ah, yeah. yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Trying to fucking whip a kid. <laughs> that one isn't theirs. Two. They shouldn't be abusing a child anyways. Noise. I failed there. Happy Chef, thank you for the hundred bits and the compliment. Hmm. I think. Did I teach him enough of a lesson? Let's just like make it. I don't want to get them even angrier and embarrassed and like make life difficult for the kid. Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Yeah. Figured it out though. I think I handled uh -huh. it well enough. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. You'll oh. come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare well, the demons out of you. Yeah, but come it's on. a kid. It's a kid who lost his dad. So. You think they still fucking he deserves them? You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, how you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while He's you stand guard. He's an entrepreneur. Guard, and as you're the stronger. Come morning, you'd take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. <laughs> they were right to want to box your ears. Desdy, you said that to too somehow, quickly. You spoiled so it for me. What say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stunt. Oh. A seat, sir, please. And literally, he's doing it to live. Like, he's a child. He's doing what he has to so do. Then, who was it you wanted to survive? ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival. Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? You gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind Siri of coin? Siri would do the same Expert shit. Y'all know Siri would be doing I'm sure this. you can imagine. Have a proper stunt with a big sign. Mm -hmm. I want a new box too. Yes. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. <laughs> Got it all planned out. This I should so think cute. so. Capital is all I require. <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally, I love sassy kids. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this kid's going places. <laughs> this will be all fun right. for him. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Yeah, this is cute. Oh, so we <laughs> Oh my god, we're going negative. Okay, I think... I think... No more than... I won't go higher... Than... Let's teach him. Let's do three. Three, let's start lower. 380. Hmm. It's not quite... Okay. I don't know. <laughs> We're on the receiving end of this. Okay, what about... No more than... Hmm. 
<laughs> it's not quite... I don't know. I know, but we're teaching him how. It's cute. We're practicing the bartering with him. What about 420... Like 425? Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Yeah. Guess I can agree to that. You know Geralt is just kind of smiling. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. <laughs> I know the fellow. It's like little Siri, I swear. I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. He wants. Don't have the time for that. <laughs> sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir. I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, oh you're here. Oh. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot <gasps> clean as the dome oh. of St. Nebiodas Cathedral. With it? You will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. Oh, In point of fact, buddy. He's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. What a I good boy. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. <sighs> The door is red, but I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. <laughs> Thank you. Perhaps later. Yay! Best dads. Best dads. Okay, dude. That these are your dads now. Handle I don't that kid pretty well. <laughs> yes, you do. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah. Saw that. <laughs> Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. Yeah. That's so cute. Best dads ever. Wake up. You are being diddled in the derriere by a ruling elite which plays you like fiddles. <laughs> It is the Duke's eldest daughter who should take power after his death. Yet he has fed you far-fetched tales about some curse and forced on you his younger daughter. Revolt! <laughs> oh, I wonder who that is. We haven't we haven't met that other daughter, right? Switch your dad and vampire dad, best dads. I don't make the rules. Those are those are that kid's dads now. Like they they're his dads. Funny and had no eyes. My point Red door. One the boot black mentioned. Okay. Hi, that laugh. Remember when you tried to kill me? Remember that? Oh my god, Siri would know exactly what to do with that kid. <laughs> they would get along so well. They would just rip people off. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. <laughs> Let's hear your idea. Bro! <laughs> Give me a moment. So sassy. <laughs> okay. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? <laughs> Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Wow, that's a lot of... What are those? Ravens? Crows? Um. He here? Why are there toys? Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong.
Not the Tico dolls. Around. Um, I don't. <laughs> Even Rages is like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a toy shop. Okay. <laughs> Very scary in here. Eviction notice. Due to the non-payment of rent for the premises used for shopkeeping purposes, the administrative court of Beauclair orders the tenant Alric de Salm to vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Oh. Rageous, you're in my way. He's not here. Surely he's left behind some clue as to his whereabouts. Geralt's just stuffing the dolls in his pockets, and Rageous is like, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody fixed this recently. I find this disturbing. disturbing. I need this. <laughs> no dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Nice little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Oh my gosh, what does he mean by that? Hmm, somebody fixed this recently. What did he mean by that? Just like stuffed and put in a up for sale? That's so sad. Attic, let's go. Wait, is this a downstairs? No. Old and discarded. Oh. So this is his nest. Need to look around. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. Oh! You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your <gasps> failure. Your beloved's Blackmail. finger. Blackmail. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A well, blackmailer sunk his claws into him. He did technically, but because he loves someone, which, yeah, that's for, you know, that's for everyone else to decide, but he, he did make the choice to kill those people. It tortured him. It hurt him, but yeah. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf <sighs> had any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, I but think they this never has live more long. to do One with Toussaint. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory. But I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. I think that they are using him as a pawn. Like, I feel like it's more between the group of people. If they said we, or just one person, and using him to effectively kill people. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was oh. very close. Because she Her? accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Oh. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Oh. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. 
Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more oh. monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was Emo. she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Like, does he mean that in terms of they lived together and he grew attached to her in like a more am animalistic vampire way? But they were just living together? Deadlaf ever tried or to find was her. An actual pack if she was that important. With rules Higher and vampires stuff. have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving mm, up. She clearly ran away like knew her him already. Well. Enough I know. to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. He just kind of imprinted on her. Okay, I see. I love how the how my my besties are like yeah it's like you know in uh, a card of thorn and roses when it's like the maid and then they imprint and it's like you know that other smut book <laughs> even if Renawed did abandon him that time looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time hard to argue with that and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free honestly her. Get her back. she seems awesome he's prepared to kill that's clear as would you be for Yennefer he kills for he cares for her deeply and that blood those individuals they mean nothing to him right but yeah i get it now he's out to rescue a female from his pack exactly right so someone's blackmailing him we know that still have no idea who need to look around some more hmm yeah I also just think that um, we can get it and we can empathize, but I don't know if Geralt would go straight to listening to the blackmail and obeying the blackmail. Personally, um, nice little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Especially if it really the signs indicate that she left him. Like one of these toys. And why didn't he tell Rages, for example? Mm, somebody fixed this recently. I guess he was desperate, but all I'm saying is I feel like he had other choices, like other options than just. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Hyper focusing and rather disturbing. doing what they say. Nice little trinket. Hello! Yay! I'm so glad you have fun. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. God, it's like sad. Tools were used recently. Deadlaf unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Well, that's cute. If he does, then that adds another level of sympathy for him. For me, at least. That adds, like, it makes him more of a human. Mr. Epitome of humanity. Like, that's precious. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron. Milton. Count de La Croix. Detlaf's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Yeah. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. 
I'm just sad he didn't go to Rages. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear See? it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Yes. Look, I agree. Stain. They're smart. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Oh my god, literally. Please just make a show for me of I could just have an entire game of fucking Sherlock and Watson, Rages and Geralt solving crimes together because they're so cute. Blackmailer. And so smart. Kind of curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insist is no murderer. Yeah. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. He's just emo. Mm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? <gasps> Another vampire? What? Precisely. The plot thickens. <gasps> just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Oh my god. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. Um, what do you mean by innocence? <laughs> I don't really know what Geralt's gonna say with the true and untrue. I don't think that he is planning on killing those. I don't know. I feel like he still murdered them, though. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to choose untrue. But what I mean by that is like he's it's not that he's innocent because <laughs> he's still killing me. But I know Ray just loves him. But we have to think about it in an objective eye. And I do think Geralt would like move forward still being sus of debt laugh like we know okay we know ray just loves him and that's important but i hope this isn't mean not how i put it doubt it's how the duchess will see it either i trust you to convince her okay then... what go on don't be shy see you've got it all figured out including the grin i gotta wear oh it's a rather bold plan but were we to find renawed Right. We would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. Right. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? Right. He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Um, he really was mad at Geralt, though. Like, that was... Wait, why Emil? Oh, great. Okay, sorry. I was thinking of... Dooney. Damn. This is wild, y'all. You can still talk to Rage's name. And I do stand back. Toss a by... coin to your Meg Mage. Oh, chat of plenty. I stand by kind of challenging Rage's on that. I know. Uh, Rage's is wonderful, but he's not perfect. And he is the epitome of humanity, according to Geralt from the books. He said that. And so he's going to have blind spots. And. Like, I love that so much about him, but I feel like Geralt would challenge him a little bit to see more clearly because you can just tell he's like, no, and then you'll convince you'll convince the Duchess that it, he's fine and he's innocent and this and this and this. And like, I know him. He wouldn't he wouldn't kill anyone. And like they they didn't they controlled him and made him do this. And it's like, OK, yeah, but also he still has free will as far as we know. Um, and it just makes Rage just even more human that he loves him that much. But I do think 
my Geralt at least would challenge him a bit. Ollie, thank you so much for the 19 months. That's so many months. And he can see, the thing I love about Geralt too is he can really see rationally. He can see it plain and simple, like people for what they are, even Yen. When Yen goes a little too far with something, he pulls her back. Like, I feel like he is good for the dreamers. Like, he's able to level people out. Geralt, I'd never wish to give the impression I do not enjoy your company. The truth is quite the opposite, in fact. <laughs> However, yeah, I know. That loss not likely to show up as long as I'm here. But five minutes won't hurt, will it? I suppose not. I was wrong to press you to go. You wish to ask something? That's cute. Been meaning to ask you, how do you and Deadlove meet? Mm. Hmm. A somewhat uncomfortable subject. Oh. I'm all ears and I got time. As you well know, during my teething years, teething I had a years. spell during which I abused blood. Among vampiric youth, I was, all false modesty aside, rather popular. I ran with the plasma crowd. Oh my god. I made a great many acquaintances. This is like one of whom a dad telling, telling us about but his cool college our years. soon diverged. You see, our band had an appetite for chasing youthful capers. Those young Blood whippersnappers. Blood guzzling contests, that sort of thing. Let's turn into bats and terrify the ladies. <laughs> Declaff thought it all foolish. He was right, of course. Though I only came to understand this later. Sorry, just can't imagine you as a young vampire rabble rouser, <laughs> renegade, punk. You know of our exceedingly long lifespans. Oh. They allow us plenty of time to change. I would Only like to one, see it. Thank the gods for that. I would like to see it. Just wondering, what if Detloff doesn't show? He'll show. <sighs> Tell me, how's this work? When I need a short answer, concise, quick, you're likely to give me a scholarly lecture. But when I could use some details, elaboration, <laughs> all I get is a few grunts. What's that about? Allow me to explain. When speaking of facts, tangible matters, I do indeed strive to express myself precisely and at length. However, when our discussions center on affairs of the intuition or things vampiric, my utterances are indeed towards the taciturn. For even the longest discourse would not allow me to explain to my interlocutor any <laughs> issue of this purview satisfactorily. <laughs> Therefore, I repeat. Okay. <laughs> that laugh will show. Sooner or later. Oh my god. Okay, bye. You, you successfully got me so bored i'm leaving take care regis <laughs> bumble hi friend how you doing oh my god this is so good i don't know what i expected but it wasn't this i love them complimenting and contrasting each other and showing different ways we can do good and like help people and and try to like solve <laughs> Crimes and stuff. Oh, 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 oh no. Ghost children. The one rule about Fight Club. Do y'all think it's a good idea for me to go talk to the Duchess? I also want to go see Vivian. Toss us a coin. No. Da -da -da. I do really want that. So I could get all of them if I wanted. Um. Gonna wait until I have three and then I'm gonna choose one of these. Maybe Erden. Oh, wait. 
three, uh... Oh, if there was a break, uh, oh, we'll start a oh. quest. Okay, thanks for letting me know, y'all. See if we have anything here. <laughs> Wait, why is this level 38? Uh, <laughs> what happens if you do this? Is that worth it? Oh, let's do this. Happy 13. Just watched your latest video with Talking Roach. Oh, Glad you enjoyed it. I loved it so much. I didn't expect to cry at the end. Mara, thank you for the 13 months. Oh! Baloo! Thank you for tipping the mods $15. You're so nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They deserve it so much. Well, the YouTube video is up today. He looks good in this armor. Keep calm. Start no brawls. Wait, wait, wait. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Oh, Wolf. yeah, the escort. Uh, I presume you saw my notice. <laughs> I love Foolish the color question. of your You're outfit. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage like... to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. Extraordinary. I'm a lover, witcher of nature. <laughs> oh. A devotee of the wild. And two <laughs> songs is home ruined. to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guard, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. What a character. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. I'm obsessed with this outfit. Any reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, It just sounds uh, kind of British. I, like to, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds British. Partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake. Good night, guards Chester, of your own. Have Take a great them. rest. Save we'll see coin. you tomorrow, maybe, I or could, the next surely. time. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation, right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. Oh. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Oh. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastisomac. Uh. It, uh, it captures uh, likenesses. Oh. Paris, as to what? It's like a movable megascope. Capturing moments, 
transform oh my god a camera which i then paint a painting a camera so you want me with you looking at Hi, animals fire, and horse. flowers and well that's more or less what it amounts to yes uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures i wish to capture i know only the very approximate locations of their habitats well and uh, should any trouble arise we'll have your sword at the ready right so agreed you're rich so pretty unusual contract i couldn't agree more yes <laughs> And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Um, I paid a fucking child 400. Like, are you kidding me? Supply! Oh! We have a deal! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll oh. save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Golden hour. Oh, wow. This is cute. I like it. Okay, so. What? It was like, I think around here. <laughs> he de also demonstrated striking entrepreneurial flair. It must so much so in fact that it got him into trouble at times. figure it out myself what if i want to figure it out myself okay i guess it's not that kind of quest seems i got the map so i'll lead oh no wouldn't it's rather be out here with those guards of yours. <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. Do you? But as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I'll put one request, would you? Avoid... Shh. Heard something. Grunting, panting. Something like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to come face to look with a bear. We should move on. Uh, no! Stay. What are you doing? Hear that? Deer, I think. Hear that? Panthers. <laughs> I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute Hear that, than mine. Dear, I must rely I think. on them. Hear that, Panthers. Yeah, look. Damn poachers. Snares. Oh. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. 
Panther got caught instead. Look, come. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. You freed her. A super brilliant. You freed her. A superb image. Fuck all witches heartless. This will put the light on. This reminds me of Oh my! I, I failed to warn you. Apologies. The Paris Dysimac has an added lantern. You must look away Can or it'll blind you. Shut up. Paris Dysimax upset the animals. Better get out of here. Why are Another you yelling? Bite. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Giant centipedes. Oh my god. Shh. Hear him. It's those... Uh... Centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Uh oh. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad, either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Can I kill the giant centipedes, though? Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Oh my god. An excellent day for capturing moments. This is so awesome. Thank you. Truly magnificent, that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Me. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Oh! Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. Huh? They can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Let's do uh, it like yeah, they do on the Discovery try. Channel. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. <laughs> All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My, my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. I bet his daughter's sick or something. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Oh! A feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. Witcher in action. What a treat to watch. It's cute. Is this what they sound like? It sounds like Boomy and Yuna. Hear that? They're calling. 
talking to each other. Fabulous. We're getting close. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Full of excitement for today. Are the peacocks okay? Hi, dearest. What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In yes. that case, time to get back to your camp. That was like one of my favorite Witcher contracts ever. That was so sweet. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, Master. It's nice see, to like lads, appreciate animals in a different way Thank as you, a Witcher, Witcher. For looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Hi, Carrie. Pay my dues. Hi, uh, Lady Crazy Nut. Oh no. New life. Stop. He was feeling down. Stop. Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa's her name, took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now, or rather paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. I love this game. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for yes! some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Oh my gosh, of course. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See ya. Wait until noon tomorrow. I would love to. This is an amazing quest, and it shows why I love this game. That is so cute. I thought she was sick, but she's she just can't walk. That's really oh, and he didn't even like feel like he didn't use that to guilt Geralt <laughs> and take part in the picnic. Um, let's ride Roach. Oh, it's far. Ooh. 
Roach! Yeah, Unifex, but I feel like Toussaint has a breeze in the air. I don't know. I feel like it's perfect armor where it looks really sunny, but it's like you could either wear a sweater or you could wear a t-shirt, you know? <gasps> Wild horses! Wait, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> where am I? But then why some people like they don't look as sweaty as Valen, for example, or fucking um I don't know. I just feel like it's it's breezy. Hi Joel. How you doing? expansion oh. ever. Greetings and welcome. I love them. Both male and female Vauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary I want these in work my... I want all of those in my wall. Preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter. Who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <coughs> Apologies for not ah, watching your yeah, stream yeah. much. Wonderful. Being Come, busy, please. frown. Red, that's totally fine. Happy, happy nine months. Thank you so I'm much. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Yeah, you are free to sell it, of course. No, I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. I... I'm too soft for this. Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. The kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. That's a good dad. That's a good On dad. Route, oh, I mean to pass through Dolblathan. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. <gasps> yeah. Name's Torquay. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. I got them Splendid. connections. Oh, thank you for the hint. <laughs> Tell him I send my regards. Aww. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Aww. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise, 
must put my trade before any personal yeah. hatreds or sympathies. Besides, uh, besides, at times I'll exhibit a completely failed painting just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. <laughs> Naturally, the more intense someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my yes. masterpiece. <laughs> it's devilish fun, I tell you. Live your best life, dude. I love that. Nice meeting you. So long now. That was really nice meeting you. Hell yeah, this song. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cool, East Vortex. I was playing the Polish version, and fun fact, the woman here was dubbed by the woman who was doing the National Geographic TV series about animals in Polish. Um, very famous here. It was fun to hear it. And CDPR always surprises you. That's such a cute detail, and it's one of the main reasons that I love them. I love the devs so much. Y'all, that's where we're going to end today. Um, but stream tomorrow, it's it's just not... Uh, what's it called? Witcher. The next Witcher stream will be on Wednesday. Tomorrow, or maybe sooner, join the Discord. But I'm trying to get into like a Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for sure stream schedule. And then if I have time, I'll do other streams added. But um, you can join the Discord if you want updates. 